this is Morgana Key and it's been a long time since I did any uh, mystery boxes so to speak I used to be a subscriber of uh, arcade slash gamer block then they went bankrupt and since then I've just been buying one-off ones either from people reselling them on eBay or from companies that allow you to purchase one-off ones and one I've discovered and I may be returning to because they do literally dozens of different ones is a UK based company called the amazing mystery box and this is pretty huge isn't it it fills the entire frame and in the question mark there it says GNT which stands for gaming no t-shirt which uh, should indicate what is in here gaming things but not a t-shirt I bought two of these and they came together in a massive box and I've uh, cut the top of this box trying to open the larger box I also cut my thumb uh, so it's a big box so I'm going to assume larger items potentially or a lot of small ones I don't know if everyone gets the same things or if it's always the same for instance does everyone always get a Mario thing does everyone always get a FNAF thing or is it different every time would it be worth buying a second one Hmm. Lots of questions, but I've got two to be going on with. This is the first one. This is actually so big, I think I may have to take it out of the frame and uh, open it a bit at a time. But there is things inside, and I can see a massive Luigi. A massive Luigi indeed. Super Mario large figure collection. Well, he certainly is large. Well, the packaging's large as opposed to uh, anything else. Uh, it looks like he has articulated arms. Don't know if he's got articulated anything else. Ages three plus. Presumably you can get these other ones in the range. I would really have liked a peach one because I really like peach. Very uh, plain, simple packaging. Not really telling me an awful lot, but let's have a look. him out by his nose. It's very detailed, very nicely painted. I'd say that there's a little splodge of black there on the side of his nose off his moustache. But it's only on that one side. Uh, his uh, big ears, nice transfer on the hat. And his hair at the back. Stitching details on his uh, dungarees there. Even got all the uh, seams and everything sewn in them. Detail on the bottom of his feet and uh, buttons on the front and someone's talking to me on discord but i'm busy at the moment and uh his gloves so yes he does have articulated arms that arm's a bit stiff it isn't now i just had to get it going uh and a twistable head his legs don't move but he can uh you know smash brother's paws sort of thing yeah he can actually he can do that and then he can boom do that thing that he does in smash brothers kind of thing. I know his arms are that way aren't they? He just does that. Yeah, Luigi. I like that. Nice little thing. And uh, you tend to get a lot of Mario, don't you? I have, quite, I have a big Bowser figure upstairs. I don't know if it would be in scale with this one, if it's from the same set or not. Uh, they may end up being the same size. Luigi may end up being bigger than Bowser, we'll have to see. Yeah, I like him. He's going on my figure shelf with my other things. You go over there. Zelda mug. Is this official? Yes, it is. Official 11 ounce mug. Uh, what's that in milliliters, anyone? I haven't got a clue. That's weird. It's, uh, it says it's 11 ounces, but the washing instructions say it's dishwasher safe at 40 degrees Celsius. Make up your mind. You can't use one measurement and then switch to another one immediately afterwards. It's your standard size coffee mug. Copyright 2017, so these have been around for a while. It's dangerous to go alone. Drink this. I think it would have been better if um, the old man actually had a cup in his hand or a cup in front of him for Link to take. 
but I like that. Nice little thing. Of course, also it would have been better if the whole mug was black, or at least black up to here. I once worked uh, for three years, a seasonal job for a company that made mugs, and they were very, very picky about the bleed on uh, the pictures that they were putting on mugs, so wouldn't pass their quality inspection, Nintendo. Anyway, the joke is funny. I like it. It's going in the mug cupboard with my other gaming mugs. Hopefully all the transfer won't peel off it like it did with that Tetris mug that I really liked and kept using and then all the picture came off. Oh, I did say FNAF, didn't I? This is quite clearly FNAF. FNAF that I have on Steam and still haven't played. My Moji plush says it's supposed to be a FNAF emoji. Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, it's made by Funko, of all people. Eight plus. Does it say who it is? Because I haven't got a clue who it is. No, it doesn't. Answers on a postcard. Uh, some sort of red bear slash fox. Some sort of red mammal creature with an eye patch. Are they a pirate or have they just had an eye removed? Nicely detailed though. Nice stitching on the ears, on the face, eyebrows, nose, teeth. These are little whiskers. Quite well made. Very, very soft. Squishy. That's an alright thing. I mean, Funko don't make bad quality things. They just usually make relatively ugly things, don't they? But this is nice. I like this. Ah, there are six things in this box. There are two smaller things and a massive thing. Halo 5. A lanyard. I didn't even wear my lanyard when I had to wear a lanyard. I hate lanyards. They rub the back of your neck something chronic. So there's your pass thing. The, oh, shiny. It's getting all the light off the window. With the Halo 5 logo. I believe that's the, um, the military car or whatever that Master Chief is with. USC Summit or other. And it's got that sort of pattern on the lanyard as well. Can you see that? I can see it through the viewfinder, but can you see it to the naked eye? Can you see it on the video, should I say? Uh, yes. Lanyards are a bit naff, aren't they? They're a bit of a filler sort of item. These are interesting. I have never heard of these. Legend of Zelda collector tag. Plus decal and tattoo. Featuring Breath of the Wild. Is it only Breath of the Wild? Because that's sort of like Breath of the Wild on the front. So these must be relatively recent. On the back there we've got... Um, it can't just be Breath of the Wild because we've got Midna there. That's Breath of the Wild. We've got Majora's Mask there. That's the stained glass uh, window out of Wind Worker. These are copyright 2017 as well. Uh, manufactured by uh, Interplay. Okay. Interplay LLC. Not recommended for children under... 36 months. Collect 26 tags from seven of Link's most heroic quests. Tattoo and sticker in every pack. Each pack contains one collector tag, one decal sticker, one fun tat tattoo sheet, so there'll be more than one tattoo supposedly, one collector list, 22 inch ball chain. I don't think it could fit something that was 28, 22 inches long in here unless it was dead skinny, and a four inch ball chain. Okay, okay. Let's see then. Oh, I see what you mean by ball chain. It is literally <laughs> a chain with balls on it. And quite clearly, I have got the Ocarina of Time. Or the Ocarina of Time, as it's technically pronounced. But in my accent, it is a lot easier to say Ocarina, so leave me alone. There we go. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, apparently number 21. And it's it's like, um, it's not metal, but some um, shiny sort of plastic with like a resin on the top to make it look slightly 3D. I don't know if you can see that on the viewfinder, but it looks quite nice to the eye. We've got um, a short chain, presumably to put it on keys, and a long chain, presumably to wear it as a necklace. For future reference, that is what a ball chain is. Fair enough. So you get two of those. There's the actual tag. This will be the collector tag checklist. Ah, 
think I've done pretty well there because most of them just look like um, dog tags. They're just like round. Uh, Wind Waker, Ocarina, regular Zelda. And then there are these shaped ones at the bottom. We've got um, Fairy in a Bottle, uh, the Wind Waker, Stained Glass, the Ocarina, which we've just got, and the uh, Triforce. Yeah, I've done pretty well there. That's that's pretty nice. Out of those other ones, I suppose I would have been happy with any of the Wind Waker ones, or definitely the Majora's Mask Skull Kid one. Maybe the one of Sheik? Or the classic one? But yeah, I've looked out quite well there. Ah, only available in fun box. What on earth is a fun box? And oh, these look like rare ones because these aren't mapped with numbers. These are G1, G2, etc. And uh, those three are only available in a fun box, whatever a fun box is. Collectible gold tags. Only available in special products. Hmm. Let me have to Google that. See what's going on. Oh, we've got two sheets. Zelda fun tats. We've got like a silhouette... Was it Wind Waker Link? Uh, the insignia, this sort of wavy pattern from Wind Waker, Zelda logo itself. Apparently number four of twelve, so you can collect them, as opposed to sticking them all over yourself. And a shiny, another royal family crest. It's quite nice. Triforcey type thing. Don't think I'm ever going to use it as a tattoo, but it's a nice enough thing. And the last thing, I may have to lift the camera up for this because it's absolutely enormously huge, is, looks like a backpack. And I recognise that logo, that's Call of Duty. Huh, there's a price tag on it there, 9 99 Did this lot have a shop as well and they just sell things like this? Was this 9 99 at some point? You can see it a bit better now, it's out of the bag. Yep, definitely. Call of Duty, Activision and all that it's actually quite small when you get it out it's got these like bungee card kind of things on them and those to put a water bottle in it's got a pouch here oh it's got loads of pockets inside it's got a pocket here at the front a big one pocket there at the back it's got this big space in the middle and at the front it's got this zippy pouch and uh and it's got this one with more pouches inside, ye gods. How many pouches do you want? Special air combat recon. Or saw. Apparently. So, although it's a rather small backpack, it's got a lot of air uh, pockets and space going on in it. So, that was the Amazing Mystery Box Gaming No T shirt. And that cost £20. Uh, and this had a £10 price tag on it, so that's not bad. I've seen those figures go for a fair bit. Mug, a plushy thing, and those Zelda tags I've never ever seen before. The lanyards just fill a tat, so I'm not even counting that. But yeah, it's a fairly decent value, I reckon. Yeah, so I think I may be tempted to buy some more of these in the future. Yes. <laughs>